everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d cube y by dx cube plus 6 into d squared y by dx squared plus 11 into dy by dx plus 6y equals to 0. So we are given a linear homogeneous equation, right? If you use the differential operator d, you can replace d by dx by differential operator d, right? Then this equation becomes given differential equation d cube y by dx cube plus 6 into d squared y by dx squared plus 11 into dy by dx plus 6y equals to 0. Okay. Now use this. Then you can write the above equation as d cube y plus 6 d square y plus 11 dy equals to 6 or plus 6y equals to 0. Now take y common from all the terms of LHS. Then you get d cube plus 6 d square plus 11 d plus 6 into y equals to 0. Right? Which is in operator form. That is f of d into y equals to 0. Right? Where f of d equals to? By comparing these two, we'll get f of d. Right? f of d equals to d cube plus 6 d square plus 11 d plus 6. Fine. Like it. Now coming to the given equation. So we wrote the given equation in differential operator form. Right. Now what is the degree of the given equation? order and degree of this equation. We will see what is order and degree of the given equation. Firstly, we will find the order. So, find the highest derivative in this equation. This is d y by dx, d square y by dx square, no. And this is d cube y by dx square. So, this is the highest derivative in this equation, right? So, our order will be 3. Now coming to the degree. So, the power of highest derivative of the equation is your degree. So, here you don't have any square cube or anything. You just have 1, right? So, our degree is 1. That is the order and degree of the given equation is 3 and 1. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So how we can find using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of equation f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0. So, how will get f of m? Simply by replacing m in f of d, you'll get f of m. Where f of m equals to m cube plus 6 m square plus 11 m plus 6. Right? Fine. Now, our auxiliary equation is m cube plus 6 m square plus 11 m plus 6 equals to 0. Now consider this polynomial. We'll find factors of this polynomial. Okay. So how we can find that?
will use synthetic division method. Okay, here we are going to use synthetic division method to find rules or factors. So, consider the polynomial m cube plus 6 m square plus 11 n plus 6. Now, we have to check whether the equation satisfies for m equals to 1 or minus 1 or 2 or minus 2. We'll see. Okay. Firstly, let's check for m equals to 1. What we'll get? If you put m equals to 1, you'll get 1 cube plus 6 into 1 square plus 11 into 1 plus 6, which is equal to 1 plus 6 plus 11 plus 6, not equals to 0, right? So, it does not satisfy for m equals to 1. Now, go for m equals to minus 1, then you get minus 1 cube is minus 1 plus 6 into minus 1 square is 1 plus into minus is minus 11 into 1, 11 plus 6 is equal to minus 1 plus 6, 1, 6 minus 11 plus 6 which is equal to minus 1 minus 11 is minus 12 6 plus 6 is plus 12 which is equal to 0 so m equals to minus 1 satisfies this polynomial right so here m equals to minus 1 will be 1 root from this we'll get a factor m plus 1 Right, from this we can write m plus 1 equals to 0, right? So here m plus 1 is 1 factor. Let's see. Using synthetic division now. How we can use the synthetic division? Take the equations of m. Firstly, 1 cube, square, m and constant or m power 0. Right? 0. Now for m equals to minus 1, 1 plus 0 will add 1. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. Minus 1 into 5 is minus 5. 11 minus 5 will get 6. Minus 1 into 6 is minus 6. Again, 6 minus 6 is 0. The remainder, right? Again, you can write this into a polynomial square 1 constant, right? m square 5m plus 6. You'll get m square plus 5m plus 6. Just observe the places, okay? Constant m and square. So, here, either you can use factorization to find factors or you can check like this. Okay, it's up to you. Now, I'll just find using factorization method. I'll find factors using factorization method plus 3m plus 2m plus 6 is equal to m times m plus 3. We'll just take m common from the first two terms, then you'll get m times m plus 3 plus take 2 common from the next two terms, you'll get 2 times m plus 3. Now, take m plus 3 common from these two terms, then you'll get m plus 3 times m plus 2. These are the other factors for this equation or this polynomial, I can say. Right? So, you can write this polynomial as product of three factors. m plus 1 into m plus 2 into m plus 3. I just wrote in order. 
Okay. From this, we'll get m equals to simply consider m plus one equals to zero, m plus two equals to zero, m plus three equals to zero. Then from this, we'll get m equals to minus one, m equals to minus two, and m equals to minus three, right? Which are the roots from these factors. We'll get m equals to minus one, minus two. Minus three. So here the roots are roots of auxiliary equation that is f of m equals to zero of this equation. I can say. So now you got roots are real and distinct you don't have any repeated root right so we can say that the roots are real and distinct it is a real number right Fine. when the roots are real and distinct our formula will be y equals to c 1 e power m 1 x plus some constant into e power root into x plus some constant into e power root into x plus so on plus cn e power mn x. So how many roots we have? One, two, three. So we need the first three terms. Okay. Therefore the general solution is y equals to c1 e power first root minus 1 into x or better write minus 1 into x plus c2 into e power minus 2 into x plus c3 into e power minus 3 into x we get c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 2 into x minus 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x which is the required solution to the given equation so we have seen a problem from differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.